So Stuart, you've been at the club for six months or so now in your fourth spell. Uh, we'll come on to how things have been um, since since we uh, since we gave you the phone call when you were on holiday with your with your wife later. But let's talk about tomorrow night's game. It's been a couple of weeks since the Bradford City fans have had a chance to be back at Valley Parade. So uh, a much maligned competition, the Trekker Trade Trophy, but nevertheless a competition that can take us to Wembley and, and some incremental revenue. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the bottom line. When, Regardless who you are, if you're a young up-and-coming professional like Ellis Hudson or you're a senior pro, there's no better place to play than Wembley, apart from obviously Hamden up in Scotland. But <laughs> other than that, um, yeah, and that's the prize at the end of it. So we've managed to get through the, um, the group stage and finish top of it, which obviously gives us a home tie. Um, and in any game, you want to win. No matter what you should do, you should want to win it. So... We'll be approaching it in the correct manner. A lot of the boys obviously didn't have a game at the weekend there, so um, we'll have a you know a reasonably strong squad out, a strong side out, um, and we want to go as far as we can in it. Yeah. There's been some criticism from outside um, the footballing world that the EFL have got it wrong in terms mm. of the, the the Premier League teams coming down. But as you mentioned, at League One and League Two level, it gives the opportunity for some fringe players to come in. But as you get further down the line it's an opportunity for you to get a trophy and for the club to get a trophy. Well, that is one, obviously. I think, listen, I think with any pilot scheme, I think the time to, to look at it is when it's over, at the end of the season. Mm. They've had loads of criticism. I spoke to Sean Harvey the other day. We're one club that's not given it any bit of criticism. Um, regardless what we might think, if it's good, bad or indifferent, I think the time to discuss it is at the end of it. Um, but while we're still in it, we're going to do what we can um, to go as far as we can. But... I was disappointed and still am disappointed that you know we, we received a fine for adhering to the rules, whereas club blatantly went against the rules and still got the same fine as ourselves. Now, I believe after an appeal, you know, we, we might be getting part of it suspended, which I think is only right. Um, but I'm still really disappointed at that. Um, but that's gone. It's in the past now. Um, and we, we, as I say, we look to progress as far as we can. And lastly on that, do you believe as a manager and formerly as a player that winning breeds yeah. success? So yeah. a win can only help us for Saturday as opposed to having lost and been out of the competition on Thursday morning? Well, that's right, because we can't say any different because I think two, two months ago we were sat in here after beating Berry at home and said, you know, that's what it's yeah. after. You know, we, we're looking to get as far as we can in the tournament, but also winning. Um, and you know, we've had young players coming in and mm. being involved with some senior professionals. Mm. You know, we look back at Morecambe. Um, young Tom came in and played at right back and Ellis Hudson's played, Kwame's played, we've had Reese Webb Foster so they've, but they're not just playing in, in any game, they're playing in a game that's competitive and playing alongside likes of Nathan Clark, um, Rory McArdle, Matthew Kilgallen, Philip Marais, you know, good, good professionals and they can only learn from that so we take every game seriously um, yet we look back at the Accrington game, I think if no matter who we play, be it Charlton, be it Sheffield United, be it Accrington, if seven, eight of our players are underperforming, no matter who we're playing, we'll get beat. So we need to be on top of this game against Accrington for whatever reason we weren't, and they deserve to get through. Um, would they have picked the same side again? 100%, because the players that we sent out and the team we sent out were good enough to beat Accrington. But on the day, we didn't perform. So um, that's part and parcel of football. You can't win every game. You learn your lessons, you analyse it, and you move on. But... Yeah, come tomorrow night when the final whistle's gone, we want to be in the next round of the cup. And how do you get the players that are coming in up for it with a low crowd? I mean, mm. I presume, I'm guessing, based on um, how it feels to be in the crowd, yeah. players play to the crowd, if that makes sense. They spin off it. With Accrington, you could feel it was flat. No doubt. There's no doubt about that. Um, when I get Accrington, because at home you're expecting 15, 16, 17, 18,000 to cheer you on, and it was flat. It's not an excuse. It's a fact. Mm. And uh, the momentum when we scored against Sacred and go one all, um, you contrast to when we scored against Sheffield United to, to equalise. The crowd almost actually encouraged us and got us another goal again mm. in that game because mm. the, the noise was electric. Um, and there is, and, and we said to the lot of the senior pros that went over to Morecambe and played, we knew we were already through, um, but we had to go and, and, and do as best to make sure we finished top of the group. Um, and we said it'll be like a, a reserve game or like going back to a schoolboy game when you were at school because there'll be hardly anyone there and they weren't at Morecambe there was hardly anyone there in the atmosphere so you, you've got to be professional um, so you've got a mix you've got the young players are doing the damnest to, to want to be involved in the squad and you've got the senior ones who are leading by example but they also want to, they, they also want to be in the side mm. you know again tomorrow we're going to have a lot of good senior professionals 
who want to be playing in this team and they'll be doing everything they can and they'll probably be as hungry as anyone um, to, to put the mark on the game and, and put in a really strong performance.